This video is part of a series of videos presenting solutions of problems related to the machine dynamics topic. This video presents the solution of a problem dealing with the determination of mobility of a given mechanism. In this problem we are asked to determine the mobility of the mechanism shown here. First, recall that the mobility, m, of a mechanism is equal to 3 times L decreased by 1 minus twice J1 minus J2. Where L is the number of links in the mechanism, L is the number of mechanical parts in the mechanism. J1 is the number of lower pairs, it is the number of kinematic pairs that allow, each, one degree of freedom. And J2 is the number of higher pairs, it is the number of kinematic pairs that allow two degrees of freedom, each pair. Here the mechanism is made of six links. The ground. The slider C. And four bars, the bar AB, the bar CD, the bar DE and the bar EF. Thus, L is equal to six. The lower pairs here are the pin or rotating joints and the prismatic or translating joints. There is one prismatic pair connecting the ground to the slider. There is six pin kinematic pairs, all are simple and connecting two links each. Thus each pin joint is counted once. The six pin or revolute joints are the pin joint A connecting the ground to the bar AB. The pin joint B connecting the bar AB to the bar CD. The pin joint C connecting the bar CD to the slider. The pin joint D connecting the bar CD to the bar DE. The pin joint E connecting the bar DE to the bar EF. And the pin joint F connecting the ground to the bar EF. Thus, J1 is equal to 7. In this mechanism, there is no higher pairs. All connections are either rotating pairs or translating pairs, which are lower pairs. Thus, J2 is equal to 0. Finally, mobility is equal to 3 times 6 minus 1. Minus 2 times 7. Minus 0. Which is equal to 1. Hence, the mobility here is equal to 1. The mechanism has 1 degree of freedom. It is expected here that the mobility should be equal to 1. Actually this mechanism is built of a combination of a slider crank mechanism and a 4 bar mechanism. The links 1, 2, 3, and 4 build a slider crank mechanism, of which mobility is equal to 1. Hence, for example, if the motion of the bar AB, link 3, is controlled by any external source of energy, the motions of the slider, link 2, and the bar CD, link 4, are unique and controlled. And now if we focus on the links 4, 5, 6, and CF, they build a 4-bar mechanism, of which is equal to 1. Once the link CD is controlled, the motions of the bars DE, link 5, and EF, link 6, are unique and controlled. Thus, by controlling one link, the bar AB, link 3, the motions of all other links, links 2, 4, 5, and 6 are unique and predictable. This means that the mechanism has only one degree of freedom or mobility is equal to 1.